Hello, the question for today is uh, an object to the left of a lens is imaged at 30 centimeter to the right. So, we have an object here, uh, there is a lens here and it produces an image at a distance of 30 centimeter from the lens and this is the screen. Uh, then when the lens is moved 4 centimeter to the right, so when the lens is moved 4 centimeter to the right, the screen must be moved 4 cm to the left. The screen is to be moved 4 centimeter to the left. Show that uh, image is formed once again. So left to refocus the image. And now we have to find the focal length of the lens. So uh, this diagram shows the events. So initially lens here, screen here, the image distance was 30 centimeter. Then lens is shifted 4 centimeter to the right, 4 cm to the right and the screen has to be shifted 4 cm to the left. So now for the second lens, the object distance and the image distance are different. So the object distance will be, initially it was u, now the object distance will be initially u1, u1 plus 4. So u2 equal to u1 plus 4 and the image distance will be also different because it is 4 cm shifted here, 4 cm shifted here. The initial was 30, so 30 minus 4 minus 4 will be 22 centimeter. So let's write it uh, properly on in a in a table here. So initially, so we have initially, initially we have object distance is equal to object distance. Object distance was equal to u1. Uh, image distance was equal to v1, and that's equal to 30 centimeter. So we have, therefore, we have 1 by f equal to 1 by u1 plus 1 by v1. That's equal to 1 by u1 plus 1 by 30. So this will be equation number 1. Uh, then we have later, later we have object distance, object distance distance equal to u2 that's equal to u1 plus 4 then image distance the new image distance which is a v2 that's equal to 30 minus 2 minus minus 4 so it should be minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 is equal to 22 centimeter so the new equation will be now somewhat like this so therefore 1 by f should be equal to 1 by u2 plus 1 by v2 that's equal to 1 by u1 plus 4 then plus 1 by 22. So this is equation number 2. Now what we need to do here is as you can see from here. So we have one is 1 by f equal to something the other is 1 by f equal to something. So we have to equate these things. So when we equate these things it will be so equating, equating, equating 1 and 2 gives, 2 gives, we will have 1 by u1 plus 1 by 30 is equal to 1 by u plus 4 plus 1 by 22. So let us write it u1 here and u1 here. Now we have to uh, switch the sides, so it will give us. So, or we will have 1 by u1 minus 1 by u1 plus 1 by u1, u1 plus 4 is equal to 1 by 22 minus 1 by 30. So, it will give us, give us somewhat like this. So, or if you take the LCM here, u1, u1 plus 4, this will be u1 plus 4 minus u1 equal to if I take the LCM here it is a 660 so it is a 30 minus 22 so here we can cancel this u1 and u1 so they cancel out so it is a 4 by u1 square plus 4u1 equal to if I take LCM here, it is 8 divided 6, 6, 0. So if I do further cross multiplications, so 4, 2 is 8 
and this is equal to 1 by 1 by 330. So we have, if I cross multiply here, it will be u1 square plus 4u1 equal to 330 and u1 square plus 4u1 minus 330 is equal to 0. So now, uh, this is a query equation and I have to solve this equation. So if I solve it uh, in this equation, so I do have a, an app here where we can, I can place these quantities. So, if I have the quantities like this, 3, 3, 0. So, our answers are like this. So, we have here uh, solutions. The solutions here will be u1 is equal to, is equal to 16.28 centimeter and another answer is u1 is equal to minus 20.3 centimeter. So, I can write it also as a 3 because uh, I have to take care of the least count of the uh, devices that we have also. So, you, you have got, we have got uh, two values for u1. Now, we have to find the focal length here. So, so for the focal length, I can uh, use this value in any of the, any of the equations. So, using this value, using this value value in equation 1 gives gives 1 by f will be equal to or equal to 1 by 16.3 uh, if i use the first value uh, plus 1 by 30 so this will give us if i do the calculations here this will give me the value of f as so i can use calculators here so, it will be 16.3 reciprocal plus 30 reciprocal is equal to this much and again reciprocal gives me 10.6 centimeter. So, this gives f is equal to 10.6 centimeter, it is approximate value here. And then in the next case we have, so if uh, I use the second value, so using second value using a second value I will have 1 by f is equal to 1 by minus 20.3 plus 1 by 30. So, this will give me f is equal to, so let us, let us do the calculation once again. So, it is 30 reciprocal minus 20.3 reciprocal equal to this much and this gives me this gives me f equal to minus 62.8 centimeters. So, the possibility is that one would be a convex lens, convex lens whose focal length is 10.6 centimeter and the another will be a concave lens, concave lens which has got focal length equal to uh, minus 62.8 centimeter. So, these are the two possibilities as shown by these questions. So, this is convex lens and this is concave lens. But uh, as uh, we can see here, uh, in such cases what do we have to do is, if the light is uh, uh, diverging, if the light is diverging as shown by the figure, the second case is impossible because a concave lens cannot form an image as we can see here, real image, if the light rays are diverging they can do so only if the light rays are converging. It, that is, that is uh, the object is very large here, very large here and light rays are coming somewhat like this by the help of some other device. But in case of convex lens, even a point object can form the image here.